It's time now for our Athlete of the Week, and it's brought to you by Diamond Point in Sock Center. Our Athlete of the Week is from Melrose. This is Seth Noel, who had a whale of a game on Friday in that win over Benson. Well, congratulations, first of all, on that win. That was exciting, wasn't it? Yes, it was very exciting. Yeah. We'll uh, talk about that game in just a little bit, okay? But first of all, let's uh, learn something more about your family. Who's in your family for us? Uh, I have my dad, who helps, is one of the co-head coaches. And then I have my mom and my sister, who's going to be a senior at St. Cloud State. Mm-hmm. And other sports that you play? Uh, basketball and baseball. Okay, so you're a three-sport athlete for Melrose as well. You know, uh, you're not the only athlete that we've seen in the past that has a parent coaching, but your dad is the coach for the football team, one of the coaches. What is that like? Can you describe that relationship that you have? Um, It's pretty nice. I mean, I get to talk to him about what we kind of can run and everything, and yeah, he's a little harder on me than most kids, but I kind of like that out of that. You know, I guess the obvious question is, too, do you take it home? Do you talk about the games at home? Oh, yeah, we... It's a family thing. After games, we come home and talk about it. My mom usually tries to get her two cents in on the game. Let's talk about, uh, as we watch you play, we see that you're not Dallas Reeland. You're not 6'6", 300 pounds. The size that you're at, though, what is a, an advantage for that? And Describe yourself as a football player, okay? Um, I'm not fast, fast, but I'm quick. I can get away from guys, and I can shake them a little bit, so that kind of helps. I'm not going to run over most guys, but I can do it eventually, or sometimes, I guess. But I just quick, I guess. All right. Are there players in the past that you've watched, maybe playing for Melrose or in the colleges or pros, that you kind of pattern yourself after? Uh, a few recent players about five, ten years ago, Sean Meyer and Seth Gieske. I know they both are really good running backs for us, and I was a water boy and ball boy when they were playing, so I just kind of looked up to them a lot when I was younger and just wanted to be like them. And I suppose you're too young to remember another Dutchman, Blake Elliott, huh? I I remember him a little bit, but not too much, a little too young for that, but he's another guy that I kind of looked up to, too. All right, and it's good that we make Blake feel old now, right? Yeah, Yeah. (laughs) okay, all right. Mentions to some of your teammates here on the Melrose team, guys that you've grown up with. uh, Who are some of those guys that uh, you enjoy playing with? Uh, Dallas Reeland, obviously, and Gentry Mittendorf, Mitchell Manning, uh, Michael Berg, Zach Zink, those guys we've been playing together for quite a few years now and it's we've really grown on each other I guess the past three years you know you mentioned that you play three sports you play basketball I know you play a lot in the summer with the AAU Uh, how do you balance all the sports that you play um I guess I just set a little time for each one I mean football you obviously have to lift so I did SAQ three days a week in the summer and then I'd go play basketball the rest of the day and then get a few baseball games in here and there you know as a three-sport athlete uh, we always encourage others to do that as well uh, what do you have to say to those athletes um it's a good thing to do all three sports I mean you can't just single in on one sport and think you're going to be really good at that. you got to go out and experience each sport, not being the big star on basketball, let's say, and just got to go out there and try it and have fun. It's about a team. All right. Well, let's talk about this game uh, down at St. John's against Benson that Melrose won 14-12. First of all, what, is it, what was it like playing at St. John's? Um, it was pretty nice, except we got rushed when we were there because St. John's was still practicing, so we couldn't go through our whole dynamic that we usually go through, so we are kind of rushed. But it's a, it's a great atmosphere to play on, that's for sure. What was working on for uh, working uh, pretty well on early for Melrose? Uh, you scored on the first possession, then as the game was going on, things be uh, seemed to be kind of shifting around a little bit. Can you describe that game for us? Uh, right away, we could really run the ball, and we kind of could throughout the whole game, but we had penalties when we were in the red zone, quite a few of those, a few fumbles here and there that we need to clean up a lot for the next games. But we were close. Mm-hmm. All right. Describe this last minute. Uh, after the first field goal that was missed, then what happened? Uh, I know a lot of us players, our hearts kind of just sank, and we are like, really, did that just happen? But then we are like, we have another chance, and we didn't know what was going to happen. And then I didn't know if I should rush off the side or not, but then I did and got in there and blocked it with my helmet. You blocked it with your helmet? Yep, I did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you got a good look at it, but it worked, didn't it? Yes, it did. Well, congratulations and good luck the rest of the season, and we uh, really enjoy watching you play, okay? Thank you very much. All right, that's from Melrose, Seth Knoll, who is our Athlete of the Week, and it's been brought to you by Diamond Point in Sock Center.